Where did this come from? Your soulmate probably lost it. How do you lose a broom? Oh, what are these? Ew! <gasps> what was that? That oh, was someone else's underwear. That's so gross. Were they used? I don't want to find that out. I swear, if my soulmate loses one more thing. What are you going to do? You don't know who they are. Oh. <gasps> Want to go for a joyride? I don't think that's a good idea. Don't look at me like that. Did you guys drive to school in a G-Wagon? Yeah, my soulmate dropped the key. Um, isn't that considered like Grand Theft Auto? It's borrowing. <gasps> Attention class, somebody has stolen the sheriff's car and it's currently parked in our parking lot. Oh, Bailey, is there something that you would like to share with the class? No, nothing. <laughs> it wasn't the key to their car, it was the key to their dad's car. Who happens to be the sheriff? Dude, you need to drop that key right now and give it back to your soulmate. You're right. Okay. Bailey and Melissa, please come to the office with us. We gave the key back. Maybe it's not related? Listen, we know that you guys stole the car. We just want to know why. It wasn't us. Oh, really? Because we have security camera footage of you two driving it and parking it in the lot. Wow, the security cameras are really high quality. This is not a joke, young lady. You stole a vehicle from somebody's house. Wait, I can explain. I'd love to hear this. How would we help each other? I want you to be in a fake relationship with me so people will get off my back about being single. No way, this isn't to all the boys I've loved before. Listen, I'm the quarterback and if you date me, your rank will immediately become higher. Deal. Hey guys, this is my girlfriend. You're dating him? Yeah, I am. You know, I forgive you for getting me detention yesterday. Great, then we can be friends. Yeah, definitely. See, I told you this was going to work. Are you guys running for prom queen and king? Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, of course we are. I did not agree to this. Okay, then you can continue to be a loser. How did my rank move up that quickly? Um, it's because you're dating me. Everyone loves me. Your head is so big, I'm surprised it doesn't fall off. Hey sis, wait up. Get away from me or I'll punch you in the gut. Did I do something wrong? Yes, dude, you took my spot. What do you mean I took your spot? I used to be under 100 and now I'm not because of you. What the? Mom, what the hell is this? You have to choose one thing to give up until you meet your soulmate. Can't speak or can't cry. I'm definitely gonna go with can't cry. No way, you literally cried this morning because we didn't have your favorite kind of bread. I really like the sourdough bread. Dude, you're gonna fail and not be able to meet your soulmate. Whatever, yes I will. Hey sis, remember that pink shirt I borrowed? Oh yeah, do you have it? Yeah, but I got red paint all over it. I'm so sorry. So are you mad at me? I'm totally fine. I'll just buy a new one. <laughs> Bailey, you failed your midterm. You got a 4%. How did I even get a 4%? You literally spelled your name wrong. You're out of lunch money, so you can have mystery meat instead. What's in the mystery meat? I don't know. It's a mystery. I need to find my soulmate right now. I cannot do this anymore. How are you going to do that? You have no idea who it could be. I have an idea. This will be your uniform. There's a uniform? Of course there's a uniform. It's a private school. I'm gonna look like a dork. That's great. I hope so. You look so much better. I look silly. Well, that's because you didn't button it up all the way. See, isn't that great? This is worse. Now, now, we have to get going. Class, this is our new student, Bailey. Hey, guys. Hey, isn't your father crazy, Mr. Carlson? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He seems pretty nice to me. Do you know what he does for work? He won't tell me anything about his job. Yeah, because he does super illegal things. My father gave me Wagyu when I asked for escargot. Can anyone trade? Mm, no, I can't. How about you, new girl? I have a Lunchable for lunch. Anyway, have you been down into your basement yet? The basement? Yeah, dude, everyone is always talking about what he keeps down there. No, I didn't even know that we had one. You need to go down there and tell us about all the crazy things. Like what? I got invited to my first TikTok event ever after being a creator for literally two years. We're gonna put on the fit together because you guys are genuinely not ready. I have managed to get this top onto my body, but it was not without a lot of struggle, but it's very cute. This is the skirt that is going with it. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, over top of the skirt, we're gonna put this belt. <laughs> I think I did it upside down. I'm unsure if I did this correctly, but this is what we're gonna go with because I am running out of time. They gave me these beautiful bows for earrings. Why is this a struggle? Next up. Cross necklace. I have found two socks and they do not match. At least they're both striped. I feel like that's okay. Maybe. For shoes, we have the iconic Naked Wolves. Whoa, I'm so much taller. We're doing some fishnet gloves. We're looking slick. Bye. Last, but certainly not least, is this jacket from Alabama Blonde. This is our final outfit. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever worn. 
Are you ready to be sorted today? No, I don't want to be separated from you. We could get the same district. Which one are you hoping for? I want to be a farmer, and then I can hang out with all the animals on the farm. Aw, you'd be perfect for that. Everyone, please take your seats. I'll talk to you after the test, okay? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Bitch, watch where you're going. You may now begin the sorting test. Please stay seated and just wait for your results to come out. Please tell me I'm gonna be on a farm. There must be some kind of mistake. Bailey, I'm an outcast. What? What does that mean for you? I don't have a purpose. We don't do anything. Hey, outcast, come with us. What are you doing over here? This is for fighters? Yeah, that's the district that I got. Wow, they're just taking anybody now, huh? Like you could beat me in a fight? What are you, 5'5"? Five, five? I am 5'7". Let's go, everyone. Wait, isn't the train to get out over there? Oh, we don't take the train. We're going to jump on the rooftops. Not surprising, I got fucked over again I'm second string now, don't feel a thing now I'm the backup last call friend I'm in a corner, your best warmer Slap me out in the last corner This is stupid, always losing Always stuck in second best Hello diary, not surprising I got fucked over You shouldn't wear so much makeup. It'll collect on your mustache. At least I can grow a mustache. My doctor says any day now. Who are you trying to impress? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm kind of seeing someone, and I have a date after school. <laughs> Davey, the only person you're seeing is your therapist, because you went straight up psycho and can walk for three months. Oh, yeah? Well, I won't be able to walk again tomorrow, because I'm about to go get railed. Peace out, virgin. Okay guys, it's 2000 and we're not dead yet. That's a good sign. I only went forward a day. I don't know how much time we have. Everyone said the world's gonna end. The world is not gonna end. All our computers are gonna malfunction because the year won't change. You're all gonna be just fine. If the world is gonna end, I need to call my mom and say bye to her. I'm living through this? Why are you not freaking out too? Do you know something that we don't? You know what? Yeah, the world is gonna end just like the dinosaurs. <gasps> no way! I knew it! I need to listen to Britney Spears just one more time. Oh my. You better still listen to Britney Spears while you can. What do you mean? Are we really gonna die? Nothing. I just bought 12 pairs of low-rise pants for no reason. You're gonna hate low-rise pants in like five years. I thought we were gonna die. Let's all take one more selfie. Is that a flip phone? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. It's hot pink and I bedazzled it. Oh. Please put me into a normal year. Nine. I better be able to 3D print with my eyes. What the hell is that thing? Oh, Steve, he's a cross between a giraffe and a dog. Isn't he cute? Yeah, if you wanna have nightmares every night. I need to make a phone call. Can I use yours? <laughs> you are so funny. What's funny? I need a phone. Technology is so 4,000 years ago. Everyone gets a chip in their brain when they're born that lets you do the same things as a phone or a computer. What? I need some water. Where did my glass go? Oh, it's in the other room on the nightstand behind the white lamp. How did you know that? I can locate basically anything with my x-ray glasses. Can I try them? Yeah, here. Whoa, this is so cool. Ah, don't look at people. You can see through their clothes. I am so sorry. You're never using those again. I'm really afraid to see what year I'm in. <laughs> How many zeros is that? Oh, sis, there you are. Do you want to go to the new dinosaur exhibit today? The what? Oh, yeah, they brought some of the dinosaurs back to life, just like that movie, Jurassic Park. People died in that movie. Don't worry, we're going to be just fine. It's nothing like that. Okay. Here, eat this before we go. What is it? An ultra mega energy pill 5000. It's so good. Don't be shy. Just eat it. We should go through the portal on 3rd Street. It's the fastest route. The portal, like in Minecraft. I'm sorry. What is Minecraft? I don't think I've ever heard of that. 
Actually, now that I'm looking, the dragon exhibit is way cheaper today. Want to go there instead? A dragon? We can ride them too. They just put a muzzle on it so it can't fire breathe or anything. Okay. What's that red thing on your bracelet? Oh, this? A self-destruct button. You have one too. Ugh, my hair is itching my neck. No! What the hell am I wearing? 2004, I wanna go into the future. Sis, let's go, we're gonna be late. The car's already running. Coming. Should we play some music on the way? Oh yeah, do you have an aux cord? Um, no, what's an aux cord? I was just gonna play one of mom's CDs on the stereo. A CD sounds great. Wait, if I went back in time, that means I know the future. Sorry, did you say something? Nothing. Guys, I have something super important to tell all of you. What? What's going on? In 2007, they're gonna come out with this thing called the iPhone, and it's a phone with no buttons. You just touch the screen. That is so cool. How do you know about the future? Are there any flying cars in the future? No, but there's self-driving cars. Come on, don't stop now. Tell us something else. Also, I'm gonna be a rock star with a single called Romance is Dead. No way, can I get an autograph? We share the same height, but I'm five foot three. Apparently me and my soulmate share the same toes. What does that even mean? <laughs> wow, and I thought mine was bad. I know, what's yours? They're my height. Well, that's not even that bad. Short people are so cute. It'll be easy to find them since I'm looking them right in the eyes. That's a good way to look at the bright side. You got any money for lunch, freak? Can you just put me down? Guys, stop, what are you doing? We're throwing them into a dumpster, <laughs> duh. This isn't a high school movie, that's so mean. Yeah, and what are you gonna do about mm -hmm. it? Need I remind you that my dad is the principal? No, no you don't need to remind us, <laughs> have a good day. Okay, bye. I am so sorry about them, are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'm okay now, thank you. Oh, you're short? Yeah, I know, everybody makes fun of me for it. Shit on a stick. Hey, sis, could I borrow a top to wear to school today? No, you can't borrow my shirt because you smell like dirt. You didn't have to be mean about it. Could you at least give me a ride, please? No, you ho. I am such a mess, I can't make it through school. Are you okay? Don't cry today. No, I think Josh is cheating on me. I saw his phone. I'm gonna punch that man till he can't stand. Dude, why are you rhyming everything like Dr. Seuss? Should I talk to him or just break up with him? He is a filthy rat and I'm gonna hit him with a bat. Hey Bailey, what's going on with you? Jack, you gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. My parents got me a motorcycle and I was wondering if you want to come on it after school. You're so crazy, I think I want to have your babies. Uh, yeah, I think we can make that happen. Damn, you're a little hoe, aren't you? I've never even done that before. Dude, slow down, what the? I don't even think I know that many people. Bruh, you're gonna contract a disease if you keep going at this rate. Do they do like OnlyFans or something? I don't think I wanna meet my soulmate. I am happy being alone forever and dying with all my cats. Dude, Melanie's soulmate has a body count of four. I am so glad mine's zero. What about you, Bailey? Yeah, mine's zero too. Are you sure? That didn't sound very convincing. No, uh, I'm sure. I genuinely feel bad for everyone whose soulmate doesn't have a zero. You shouldn't shame people for how many people they've slept with. Oh, honey, no, you're confused. Huh? The body count isn't how many people they've slept with, it's how many people they killed. Ahumanawada? Please don't put me in 2007 again. 
Oh, great. We went even further back in time? Wow, that is a lot of glitter. And why are my lips so pale? Bailey, your makeup looks so good today. I love the eyeshadow. Uh, yeah, thanks. I think my mom's gonna get us the new gaming system coming out. What gaming system? It's called the Xbox 360. I'm excited. That sounds super cool. Can't wait. It's so futuristic. Wait, do you guys know who Taylor Swift is? No, does she go to school here or something? Ugh, I love Kanye West so much. You like Kanye West? Yeah, his new song Gold Digger just came out. I am obsessed with it. Mm. Could you feed my Tamagotchi while I go to the bathroom? I don't want it to die. I would love to. Want to come over after school? We're going to drink beer and watch VHS tapes. You know what? I'm good. Excuse me? Oh, yes? You dropped this. Wow, thank you so much. Honey, get away from her right now. She's a killer. I'm not. I, I swear. I see that mark on your face and you can't lie. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, are, are you doing all right? No, mom. It happened again. Everybody thinks I'm a killer. Honey, you know it wasn't your fault. Don't listen to them. They don't know what happened. I know. Shoot, do you have a pencil I could borrow? Are you gonna murder me if I don't give you a pencil? No. Oh, well, I don't have any extra anyway. Sorry. Whatever. Dylan, nice to meet you. You can go have a seat next to Bailey. Hey, new kid, don't talk to her. She's a killer. Sit with me instead. Um, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna sit over here still. Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan. Hi. Listen, I have a mark too, but I covered mine up. You have got to be kidding me. Good morning, mom. Honey, you're gonna need to open your eyes. What do you mean my eyes are open? I gotta get to school, bye. That's the wall. Oh. Please tell me you are done talking weird. No, I'm not gonna say anything weird, I promise. Okay, then why are your eyes closed? What do you mean? Your eyes are closed, dude. Are you trying to gaslight me? No, I'm not trying to gaslight you. I'm looking at you right now. I am this close to being done with your shit. You know you love me. I'll love you if you open your eyes and look at me. Mm -hmm. No. Bailey, you know you're gonna have to open your eyes in order to take the test today. I can't do that. And why would that be? My eyes don't open, I accidentally glued them shut. Then go to the hospital. She's been doing this all day, she just won't open her eyes. I don't know what you guys are talking about, my eyes are open. Then what color is my shirt? Blue. What the fuck? Where are you going dressed all cute like that? I'm going on another date. You've already gone on so many dates. You must have liked one of them. I know that none of them were my soulmate. You're gonna die alone at the pace you're going. Whatever, I gotta go. Hi, are you Steven? Yeah, that's me. Let's go inside. Okay, yeah, let's sit down. I like your hoodie. Is that the creeper from Minecraft? Yeah, bro, I play Minecraft every single day. I'm the biggest fan there is. Great. So, do you ever play Roblox? You know, I can't say that I do. It's like a life-changing experience. You have to do it. I'll think about it. My sister actually just texted me and there's an emergency at home, so I have to go, bye. I only have two days left to find my soulmate. Are you kidding? Excuse you? I am so sorry. I did not mean to run into you like that. Wait, aren't you? Uh, dude. Stop it. Are you okay? No, my soulmate keeps pulling on my string. At least yours is pulling at all. Mine hasn't touched it. Yeah, but he's yanking on it. I almost fell down the stairs this morning because of him. Dude, he's probably just trying to find out where you are. Leave him alone. I swear, if he doesn't stop pulling. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch where the fuck you're going, bitch. I said I'm sorry, my soulmate did it. I don't care what you say, don't bump into me again. <laughs> now if you excuse me, I got shit to do. Did I really just witness that happen? Who was that? I think you just met one of the twins that moved here. His name's Kyle. Well, he's mean. He also smelled like a friggin' Frito. Yeah, I heard his brother's way better looking. You know what, I think it's time for me to pull back. Have fun with this. Guys, the new kid literally just fell down the staircase. Today I'm going to a black tie event. I did not know what that dress code even meant until I Googled it. Turns out I need a floor length gown and I don't own that. So now we get to go to my favorite place, the mall. <laughs> I knew that it was gonna be crowded, but this is a whole other experience. Pretty. I found my target. There's so many people here. 
I keep finding things that I like and then they're not my size. <laughs> Some guy just came up to me and started hitting on me and he was like, yo, you're so swag. I have found one single dress in my size. This is the only dress I found, so pray for me. Oh, you're kidding. This is the best day of my life. It's not technically floor length, but I feel like I can get away with it. Wow. Dude, that was definitely your fault. Uh, okay, well, we don't know that. He fell immediately after you pulled on that string. Maybe it was just a big coincidence? Do not let anyone find out that it was you, okay? I won't. Hey, I'm on to you, bitch. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I know what you did. <laughs> what did I do? If you ever get near my brother, I will cut all your hair off. Okay. Dude, this was all your soulmate's fault. Well, she didn't know that it was gonna pull me down the stairs. The string is getting shorter. You're too close to him. Oh, what do I do? He's pulling again. Dude, just pull the string too. What does it look like I'm trying to do? All the tension just went away. What are you talking about? It's not connected to anything. That would be because I cut the string between you and my brother. Our strings just connected. Does that mean we're soulmates? <laughs> Looks like it. Really? I'm so glad you found me. Yeah. You are not being soulmates with that fucking loser. Come on, bro. Let's go right now. Oh. What are you doing? I said stay away. I'm not trying to go with you. I got pulled when he moved. What do you mean? Once you're that close to your soulmate, the string can't get any further apart. What? The only way to get rid of the string is to share a kiss. We have to kiss? Exactly, or you just have to follow him like you're on a leash forever. A kiss doesn't sound too bad. You're not kissing her. She is so disgusting. I'm Dylan, by the way. Oh, I'm... La 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 la. What the hell is your problem? Can you stop? No, I don't want him to have a soulmate. Why? Because he always gets everything and I don't want him to fall in love. When I moved to LA, there were some clothes that did not make the cut from home. Now that I am home, I'm gonna try them on and rate them one to 10. 10 being I'd wear it again and one means I'd never put it on my body. This is definitely someone's taste, but uh, not mine. I am going to give it a six out of 10 because it has two leg slits, okay, sexy. I look like my mom dressed me for someone's funeral. I thought this was gonna be good, but it's not, so five out of 10. Next up is this top. Um, I honestly just can't figure out how you wear it. See, it looks all right, but I'm just really confused. So three out of 10. This one's giving me flashbacks. It is so core 2016 Fashion Nova. I wore this for an Instagram and I thought it was so cute. I would never ever wear this now, two out of 10. I still have more interesting things. So if you want me to do a part two, comment down below. If you couldn't tell by my POVs, my favorite movie genres are comedy and drama. I had been looking for a new show to watch and I found this on Amazon Prime, it's called Mammals. I just watched the first episode and I'm gonna watch the rest today. It tricks you because you think it's gonna be a really cute romantic trip. Then they hit you with the drama and all these secrets are coming out. As I kept watching, I was just going, <gasps> If you are always looking for new and entertaining shows like me, I 10 out of 10 recommend that you go stream this on Amazon Prime. Yesterday was my best friend of seven years, 21st birthday. And for her gift, I'm gonna be her sugar mommy for today. I'm taking her to the mall and I'm just gonna give her a budget and let her go into whatever store she wants and get whatever she wants. Let's go, she doesn't know, that's why I'm whispering. Like, what? This is so silly. So I brought Maggie to the mall. Today I'm your sugar mommy. I'm gonna buy you whatever you want in the store. But there is a budget of $200. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Woo, you're welcome. Sugar mommy. Maggie has picked her first item. We got a Fenty glass bomb cream. Mmm, <laughs> that one's like good. Okay, item number two. How are we feeling? Feeling good, it smells delectable. Girlie's digging for gold. Maggie just got some really cute earrings from Icing. That was a lie, I literally got a necklace. Oh, my bank account's crying right now. Off. Maggie's done some damage, mostly an American Eagle. Did we have a good birthday? We did, thank you. Woo You're welcome. Guess how tall I am? For ten dollars. Um, stand with your back to me. Yeah. <laughs> you put on, line, yep. Five foot three. Oh, did you step on it? Five foot ten. Five foot seven. Let's check. Five ten. Ah, oh, say five foot two. Sorry, you're actually six foot seven. Six foot seven. Five foot five. What? You are six foot three. Sorry, that's incorrect. Just by a little bit. Though. 
Part two of me trying Meredith's foundation technique and makeup routine. Right after the foundation, she also puts on a hefty amount of Tarte Shape Tape. My eyes are twitching. I wanna know what prompted her to even put this much foundation on her face in the first place. How did we get to 10 pumps? That is so many. This part is kind of fun for me because I'm just drawing on my face with a big crayon. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> I've already done this much, so I'm just gonna continue. How does she control the product when she's putting that much of it on her face at one time? That's the true skill, cause what? <laughs> that is really unfortunate. <laughs> there is no way that this is saveable. I actually met Meredith one time at Coachella last year and she looked great. Also, I wanna know how her skin's okay because I fear for my crater pores after this. I think highlighter is gonna fix it, right? Right? We are all finished and I don't think I will be doing this again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go wash my face like seven times. Here are some songs from the early 2000s that you probably made so many POVs. I need a break. You know what sounds really good right now? A jazz bath. Is it too much boob? Carson's so cute, but then look at Tiffany. Why are you touching your hair like that? It's a habit, okay? You kiss me in your car. My arm's looking really bare. I need like 17 more tattoos. Bye guys, thanks for coming over. I think they hate me. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might want to argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you want to see come back. Okay, so where are we throwing this party? Your house. What? I don't want to have all these people over at my house. Don't worry, it'll only be like 50 people. Okay, fine, but that's it, all right? I don't know about this. The first people are here. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Bailey? Is it cool that I brought the whole football team with me? Yeah, it's totally cool. Come on in. Oh, my God, hey. Hey, girls, come on in. This is so cool of you. Dude, there's like 500 people here. Relax, it's gonna be so worth it when we win. No, you can't throw up in that vase. It was my mother's. That looked expensive. 
I love this party you got going on. What are you doing here? Everybody at school was going, so I was too. Last time I checked, you are definitely not on the list, so I'm gonna need you to leave. Dude, are you being serious right now? You're gonna kick me out? Yeah, see you later. Damn, don't need a knock so loud, I'm coming. Hello? Hello ma'am, this is the sheriff's department. Are you the owner of this home? We've received complaints. Nope, it's his house. Bro, what the fuck? If he's the one who cheated, then why is my rank dropping? Because everyone knows you're faking the relationship. What? It's not fake. You guys don't go near each other and you've never kissed. No one really believes you're a couple. Fine, I'll prove it to you. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey. Just so you guys know, we're actually in an open relationship. We are? Sweet! I am so sorry that I misjudged you. Yeah, you should be. That was a good save. What were you thinking? That Mary was hot and I wanted to make out with her. Um, it's tomorrow. Don't do anything stupid again. Oh, you're the one yelling now? Uno reverse. Mary, what the fuck? I told you to make sure they broke up. You sabotaged me? Oh, hey! Yeah, I sent Mary over to kiss your boyfriend. Hey guys, just so everyone knows, my boyfriend is actually hosting a pre-prom party and you're all invited. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Wait, what? I didn't know that we were throwing a party. We are now. This is not over yet. 